The government is neither deaf nor oblivious to the plight of the underprivileged, especially those hardest hit by the successive increase in the price of petroleum products. Thus, for some in the transport sector, there is a ray of hope as the LTFRB is now reviewing fair hike petitions for possible approval. Joshua Garcia has more. The Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, or LTFRB, is already studying the fare increase requests of jeepney drivers and operators. According to LTFRB Technical Division Chief Joel Bulano, the petition they received today from the transport groups may proceed to a court hearing as part of the process before they issue a decision. Bolano further explained that consecutive oil price hikes in the last four weeks will be a huge factor in the deliberations and the eventual decision as they continue conducting studies in cooperation with other government agencies. Kumukuha rin po ang LTFRB ng mga inputs coming from other agencies like the NEDA para po dun sa, mga, sa effect din po ng uh, sa ating economy at dun po sa ibang mga studies na pwede po pagbasya ng board kung dapat po bang magtas o hindi ano po at uh, kinukuha rin po yung ating input coming from our commuters. Although no one knows how long the process will take, the LTFRB and Department of Transportation are already preparing for the fuel subsidy to be given to jeepney drivers and operators hopefully within this month. Ang target po ng department at ng LTFRB ay ma-implement itong fuel subsidy program para sa ating mga public uh, utility vehicle operators and drivers. Uh, hopefully po before the end of uh, August or within August ay uh, ma-implement to ito. According to Kaobet Martin of Pasong Mazda, they are only asking for a provisional increase to cushion the impact on commuters who will have to pay more for their jeep and bus rides. Yung piso lang sa amin, piso yung provisional. Kasi ayaw namin maging pabigat sa mga commuters. Ngayon, kung sasabihin ni Chairman, mili kami, piso, dalawang piso, piso pa rin ako. Pero pag tumasuli ng mataas yan, mag magpapail pa rin kami ng provision na another one peso. Meanwhile, jeepney drivers have mixed opinions on this. For Nelson, the one to two peso increase is not commensurate or not enough compared to the current pump prices that have spiked in the last four weeks, particularly for diesel. Sa abat na linggo, ang tinas ng diesel, 12 pesos na eh. Pakayaan ba namin yung sinasabi nila? Malamang hindi eh. As for Melvin, he said the increase will definitely jack up his expenses. However, he's more concerned or worried on ridership since the passengers will also be hit hard by a fare increase. Malaking bagay na rin yan, sir, kung tutusin kasi may ipon naman yan. At least may pantagdag din sa krudo. Sa akin, eh, makakatulong din siguro kahit ka papano. Kaya lang, yung mga mananakay naman, eh, nakakawa rin naman. While not in effect as of yet, some can't help but complain soon as they heard of the proposed fare increase. Bakit naman po tataas? Imataas nga po yung pumasay, dagdag ulit po. Para po sa mga ng computer, computers, napakabigat na po yun pag dumagdag pa ulit ng pamasay, sir. Taas lang ang pamasay, magdadagdag na naman. Ang taas lang yung konti yung sahod, tataas yung mga, ano, mga gastusin. Parang wala din. Meanwhile, the LTFRB also assures their decision will be fair and balanced to benefit both public utility operators and passengers. Joshua Garcia for the nation.